previously showed. You can easily drag here the base pen E, or press press too long, you can base the base B and you can move it. And the blue block shows you now where you can connect it to. So in this case, you can go up here, leave it, and you can see this connection here. We've just built that one. So if you want to unconnect that, you simply go here, drag it over here, and you can see it's removed. Um, same true here, if you go from the fading block, if you want to move this, it shows you where you can go. If you go to this one here, and now it tells me there's something I have to take care of. And okay, I take this one, go over here, and remove this connection. So I have now added two complete basement sections just to one bar of cloth. <coughs> and uh, also here, for the system configuration, if you want to have uh, some more in-depth, um, more sophisticated configurations, you can go to the advanced mode. And this you can set up um, the instrument by simply saying, okay, I want to have, in this case, for instance, eight, eight uh, base bit sources and two um, RF uh, signals. But you can, of course, also say, okay, I don't want to have them coupled. Uh, although, in this case, right now, um, if you go to four, I don't want to have them coupled, I want to have them as separate sources. Then you have here these four separate sources, um, as you just saw. The eight will follow. Um, it's not as this firmware version will be the next one um, will be released. And in this case, I have applied it now. Um, in this case, now you can set up uh, here your four baseband signals, and as you mentioned, you can set them up uh, either for LTE for antennas, or you could even do a complete setup for different standards like LTE, GSM, Wi-Fi, CMA, whatever. Uh, we have in the